We're aiming for a one-to-one -one replication of the original GTD feel. Hello everyone, I'm Schwan from RobotBodyKits.com, and this is part four of the GTD project. The development of the Mustang GTD kit is nearing its final stage. Now we're getting ready to further develop our 3D printed rear bumper and trunk lid. We're using the same method as before, where we reinforce the back of our 3D printed parts with fiberglass. Although these 3D printed pieces are only used for mold making and might be discarded afterward during the resin curing process, the heat can deform the 3D printed parts, especially under high temperatures or direct sunlight. That's why we reinforce the back with fiberglass. As you can see, the lines of the trunk lid we've developed are quite different from the original, as it wraps around the rear bumper more. We're trying to replicate the original GTD as closely as possible, but there is a downside. If you install the trunk lid, you must also install the rear bumper. Likewise, the rear bumper has to be paired with the wide body kit. These kinds of comprehensive modifications require replacing the entire exterior to achieve the perfect look. Some customers often ask if they can install just the rear bumper or just the front bumper. Unfortunately, that's not possible because the front and rear bumpers are connected. Once we finish the surface sanding and detailing, we'll create our mold by splitting the original parts. Once the mold is done, we can produce our first set of products, leading to the first installation and testing phase.